Galileo is famous as the father of modern science. But in 1588, he was just an obscure med school dropout, and he got invited to deliver a couple of mathematics talks about Dante's version of hell. Dante's Inferno is an epic poem, basically a long description of hell. And today, we think of it as a work of literature, but for scholars of Galileo's time, it would have had the force of fact. Dante described hell as a pit of concentric circles plunging deep into the earth, with each circle inhabited by a different type of sinner. He put in gluttons and pimps and corrupt priests, all being tortured in vivid ways. At the center of the pit was the gigantic Lucifer himself, whose three heads were personally chewing on the greatest sinners of all time. Now, here's the important part for science. By Galileo's time, scholars had done a lot of work to figure out the physical measurements of Dante's version of hell. This might sound strange to us, but to them, Dante was a voice of authority, and his work embodied a kind of literal truth. But when Galileo looked at what those scholars had calculated, he realized something important. He did brand new calculations and found that their work was wrong. If hell was the size that they said it was, then it would simply collapse. If Satan really were that giant, you couldn't just multiply the proportions of a man to figure out how big he was. He would need a whole different set of proportions. Today, these are called scaling laws. You can't just double the size of a horse to see what an elephant looks like. An elephant needs a whole different shape to support its weight. Mark Peterson of Mount Holyoke College has looked very closely at what Galileo said about Dante. Galileo's calculations, he says, became the basis of what's now called mathematical physics. In other words, by considering this totally imaginary world, a world created by a poet, Galileo was able to discover something crucial about the real world. To understand how things work, you have to start with the math. And from that moment, science was never the same. <laughs>